Oh, I got one. Hold on. Welcome back, guys. Um, all right, it's March. Today was 60 degrees. I just got off of work. I am going to go down to the river. I am almost 100% positive it's flooded out, so I don't know where I'm going. I'm going to go bank fishing for channel cats today. But um, there's like 40, 50 mile an hour winds, so that's why I'm doing the intro in my garage here. But um, let's, uh, let's uh, get at it. Let's uh, take a ride and see if we can find some channel cats. Let's go. You may have seen this rod in my other videos, but um, I haven't brought this one out for a while. It's dirty and beat up. It's uh, Catfish Commando. I've caught some big fish on this rod. But, um, simple, we're just doing a Carolina rig. It's a five-hot Team Catfish double action circle. Four ounce weight. Ah, about a 14 inch leader. Bait is real simple too. We use shad. Um, and the reason for that is a lot of the shad die off in the ice and when the ice thaws, which it just did the other day, the uh, channel cats gorge on them when they uh, melt out of the ice. So uh, I just took these out. I just caught these ones not too long ago. Uh, I'm just going to use a little piece. I'm going to see what they want first. But I haven't been out here in a long time. catch a fish I'll be happy with it. Just gonna hook him right through his eyeball. Actually you know what? Go right through here. Whip it on out there. Also picked this cove area because I'm guessing it, it pushed a lot of bait up. The river flooding and all. Let's see how far I can get this thing. It's been a while. Oh yeah, that's a zipper. Almost thinking that might be a fish. All right, now you know the deal. We gotta wait. We'll get the rest of these rods out and uh, I'll get back with you. I got a fish on here, I think. I sure do. He didn't even move. Wow. Look at that. He ate it and didn't even move, guys. There he is, first uh, channel cat of the year out of the river, and he is freezing cold. Now the crazy thing is, he he didn't even uh, he didn't even bend the rod or nothing. So he's just down there sucking on it like a popsicle or something. There he is though. Didn't even know he was there. I knew they'd be in this little cove. I switched spots from the uh, other side where the current's ripping to uh, this little cove where I know there's a lot of dying shad or shad that died. Um, so there he is. See if we can get another one. I know there's some big boys over here. 
Oh, he slammed it. He might be a little bit better. Number two. One's a little bit better, guys. There's one on this other rod, too. There we go. Nice. That's a good one. Number two, number two. This one's a lot better too. Number two. They're cold, but they're hungry. Going, buddy. There you go. Number two. This one, uh, this one fought a little bit more. Nice channel cat. They're starting to wake up. Him going. Get another one. You go, buddy boy. Just like I thought, man, they're uh, out here feeding on the shad probably that just uh, came out of the ice or whatever's washed up in this little cove. I mean, it's it's three feet deep here, um, so it's all mud. I'm guessing they're just getting out of that heavy current right now, the flooded river. We'll get another one. Come here, buddy. This one might be a little bit better, man. Come here, bud. I think this is four. Oh, yeah. Come here, big boy. Man, this is fun, guys. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. We're getting bigger. That is a good fish right there. All right. That's a big old fatty oh, come here. big old heavy guy look at that fish it's that five uh, circle hook Thought that log was uh, grabbing my line out there, but look at that guy. Man, some good fishing right here. Number four or five. All done, Chad. Windiest day ever. Like I said, the ice just melted. Ice just melted like yesterday. I figured I had a suspicion it'd be a good bite, man. They're hungry. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get another one. We got till dark, so. Like I said, I just got off work, ran down here. Um, but man, that's a quality channel cat. 
And there's some real big ones in this river, man. The Fox River's a awesome channel catfishery. And this is right behind my house. I'm gonna let this one go too. Come on, big boy. No, no, go that way. Just casted that rod out too. Oh, I got one. Hold on. Oh, yeah. That's my wife on the phone. She's good luck. Another good one right here. Look how windy it is out there. Another one, man. That's a good one, too. Number five. Too. He choked that one down. There he is. Number five. It's about to... So yeah, guys. Um. Like I said, I picked this spot basically because everything's blown out with all the snow and ice melting. And uh, I figured that uh, they like to get away from all the um, all the current. And uh, I figured there'd be a lot of bait in here washed up. And I was right. So I guess it's all about how you pick your spot when you're bank fishing. Um, I moved around and once I found them, they're biting left and right, so. About to probably get out of here and rain's coming. Alright guys, so I just made it home. Um, that was an awesome trip. I just got back from the river. And uh, I'm going to get this video edited and uploaded. Um, like I suspected, the uh, fishing would be good. Uh, it was like 60 degrees and... Uh, everything melted and I felt like those shallows would be warmer and uh, went down there and I got some good fish um, I hope it helps um, I do not have the doll house in the background today <laughs> um, I do ho hope it helps somebody um, it's fun to just get out there and you know catch some channel cats it doesn't always have to be monster fish um, I love going out there and uh, just slaying channel cats it's 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 awesome um, like I said it's convenient. The river's right there. I cannot wait until these flatheads wake up. Um, there's going to be some awesome videos coming out. As soon as those flatheads get up, I will be uh, I will be chasing them. It's my favorite species of catfish to go after. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up for me. Like always, subscribe if you haven't, if you want to. Um, I'm out. I'll see you in the next one.